Okay, guys. Um, I'm back again. My idea kept shorting out, so I finally took it back apart and fixed it. And I think I've got it to where it won't short out anymore. I can't promise. Uh, but here's the interesting part. Okay, there's my amp gauge. I know you can't see it very well. Sitting at zero. Here's my ground wire that I shorted out a thousand times. And uh, I'll this up. You'll see the amp gauge goes to two in just plain water. Okay, now let's hook it up and see what it does in just plain tap water straight out of the faucet. That's not too bad. The interesting part, if I just add this a little bit of baking soda to it. See, now that's running pretty good. And that's just cold tap water. It's not warmed up at all. Okay, but I disconnect it. Now I'm going to try and add, let it clear out a little bit. That's probably good enough. I'm going to hook it up so I can dump it in and see how much I'm raising the average. Come on, I'm just about out of baking soda, so... Very little. Amps are going up. I mean, like crazy. So, do I want to be around 8 amps? I need to back down. That's cool. Bring it back up. Just a hair. There it goes. Put me at 8 amps. And the container looks like this now. And that's not even stirred up. I'm climbing to 10 amps, so let's shake this up a little bit. Okay. Now, I'm running at 12 amps, and I only put a little bit of baking soda in it. Why am I going up so high on the amperage? And, well, this is what it produces. Tons. I mean, I assume if the water gets milky, you're making bubbles, and that's what you want, the hydrogen. Now, I could pull it out and change my amps. In, out. It looks like my gauge is sticking. Off the gauge. No? Yeah, there we go. Nothing, because it's all the way out. I drop it back down in there, the amps go way up. Um, I'm at about 11 amps. Maybe somebody could tell me where I want to be. Where I don't generate too much heat. But it's doing a good job. And it's simple and cheap. There's too many bubbles there to try and pop. Oh, what the heck. Let's see what happens. Hang on, guys. Find my lighter. Where did I put it? Right there. Get acid lit. 
Ready for the pop? I'm not. I hate this. That went too bad. But it is definitely popping. I don't, don't know if you can see the flame. The flame definitely turns yellow when it's above it. And it's not when it's not. There. Okay. It's done a pretty good job. You guys let me know if this is alright. If what I'm doing is good. I'd appreciate the input. Disconnect it. Gotta calm down for a second. Yeah, maybe a couple. Sorry, this is boring. But I don't want to cut it. Somebody will think I messed with it. <laughs> Takes those bubbles a long time to go away, doesn't it? That's gone far enough. I'm gonna hook it back up. You guys ready? Here we go. Dang it. Hooked up. Okay, well, it fills the whole container. With what I consider to be a ton of gas coming off. I wonder if you could pump that water right in and it would burn. I know, that's just crazy talk. Anyhow, that's it. Please let me know what you think. Um, if I'm running too many amps, where I want to be on my amps, this, that, and the other. Throughout the day, I'm going to go ahead and check temperature and see if it's getting hot. Uh, I've done pretty well with it not getting hot. I uh, even running over 12 amps. It runs for an hour or so before it even gets to 100 degrees. So We'll see. Let me know. Thanks, guys. Bye.